It's time for an updated 1Password versus Keeper review. Let's dive in. Let's start off this Keeper versus 1Password 2024 review with the most important factor, security. So, you might already know that a password manager is an app that can store all your passwords while keeping them safe. And the first method to do that is by encrypting them. This simply means that the password manager takes your information, which was previously accessible to threat actors, and scrambles the information to be completely incomprehensible to any prying eyes. With that being said, there are a few different encryption types, and not all of them function the same. I expect the best password manager options to offer encryption that I can rely on. And if I compare Keeper versus 1Password on this front, they're identical as they offer the same industry standard encryption that is practically unbreakable. So whichever you choose, rest assured that all your data on your password manager is safe and secure. On top of that, both Keeper and 1Password use zero-knowledge architecture. The data is encrypted and decrypted at the device level, so not even staff members can access it, which makes data breaches irrelevant. All right. So far in our 1Password versus Keeper comparison, both providers offer a safe place to store your sensitive data, as well as a guarantee that your information stays for your eyes only. They further back up their promises with multiple years of third-party audits. Just some extra assurance that the security, privacy, and confidentiality claims hold up to what they say they are. I also appreciate that Keeper and 1Password offer an easy-to-set-up biometric login option. This allows users to authentically access their account with either a fingerprint, face, or iris scan. On that note, the first real difference I noticed between the security these providers offer is that while both password managers offer two-factor authentication logins, Keeper has significantly more options to choose from. While this certainly isn't a deal breaker, some users just prefer to have more variety when it comes to choosing a secondary login method. So in this 1Password versus Keeper 2024 review, I've confirmed that both providers certainly get an A plus on security. But be sure to keep watching because I've got a lot more interesting points to cover. Which brings me to my next category, security features. Of course, I expect the best password manager on the market to have a robust security suite by default, but what security features are included? Whether you opt for Keeper or 1Password, they both include a data breach scanner. As the name suggests, this feature scans the dark web to see if any of your passwords or personal information has been leaked. If this happens, you'll be notified immediately so you can change the passwords and prevent future risks. Both of these providers also come with a tool that measures the strength of your passwords. It'll notify me whenever it senses that my passwords are too weak or overused and need updating. Another feature that added a ton of security to my daily life is the password sharing option. If you need to share confidential data with someone like credit card info or passwords, sending it via email feels risky and vulnerable. This feature, however, allows users to securely send information with minimal risk. For that reason, my Keeper review on this topic gets more points than my 1Password review, considering the slew of extra options. Keeper allows me to choose an expiration date for the shared file, how many devices it's shared on, and I can even send it via a QR code. Plus, my recipients don't need to have a Keeper account, so I can send Wi-Fi passwords and streaming service logins to my family members easily. 1Password also has decent sharing options, including link expiration and availability. It's also really helpful that I can directly share entire vaults of information rather than sending each password individually. Granted, Keeper's sharing feature is a bit more extensive if it's something you'll be using frequently. So if you'd like to add all these security features to your passwords as well, be sure to get your exclusive discount on both providers with the links I've left in the description. All right, now the next factor I look at is how easy and comfortable are they for everyday use. The desktop apps were very straightforward when installing and downloading, with the whole process taking just a few clicks of a button. Both 1Password and Keeper are available on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Android. Setting up the extensions was also a breeze, and they are available on most browsers. When it comes to the mobile apps, however, I noticed that Keeper's Android and iOS versions look slightly different. Plus, the importing and exporting passwords feature is missing. Aside from that, the two apps are equally intuitive and easy to navigate. 1Password's Android and iOS apps had a similar appearance, were very organized and fully functional. If you're still unsure about which provider suits your needs best, we can take a look at which bonus features they offer. 
Autofill is a super useful feature included in both password managers, and it allows users to enter their personal data, including usernames, passwords, payment information, and so on. Once that's all stored, the information will automatically enter itself upon login or checkout. Although they both work smoothly, I found that Keeper's Autofill was a little more efficient compared to 1Password, as I didn't have to click any additional buttons. But a tool that consistently comes in handy for me is the password generator. This allows users to create strong, customized passwords with the swipe of a button. Keeper's Generator can construct a password that's up to 100 characters long, including a tricky combination of numbers, letters, and symbols. Once I've decided it's strong enough, I simply press copy and can now use it knowing that my account will be much safer. Similarly, 1Password's Generator uses a hard to predict sequence of syllables, including upper and lowercase letters and numbers. Regardless of whether you ask, is 1Password better than Keeper or vice versa, they both offer quality protection and useful features. However, the provider that I found to be better overall is Keeper. Not only are the app interfaces more comfortable to navigate, but the features are richer and security is slightly stronger. Which brings me to the next important question. How much do these password managers cost? If we compare the personal and family plans, we can see that Keeper is quite a bit cheaper than 1Password. Remember, you can make these password managers even more affordable by using the discount I left below. Though it costs more, 1Password's family plan includes some excellent benefits, such as use on unlimited devices for five members, top tier security thanks to their watchtower feature, one gigabyte of storage, and a variety of account recovery options. Keeper's family plan also includes use on unlimited devices for five members, plus 10 gigabytes of storage and unlimited password storage. If you're still unsure and would like to try these apps out risk-free, they both offer a free trial, with 1Passwords being 14 days and Keepers being 30 days. Also, unlike 1Password, Keeper has a completely free password manager. It just includes significantly less features than the premium versions. Unfortunately, neither of these providers currently offer a money-back guarantee. So here are the main takeaways for my 1Password Review 2024 and Keeper Review 2024. 1Password offers easy-to-navigate interfaces and optimal security with their Watchtower feature, while Keeper has an excellent password generator and is more affordable. At the end of the day, security is what makes or breaks it, and both providers are giving top-tier security. If you'd like to see more password manager videos like this one, you can check out the video that's on screen now. I'll see you next time.